Hello everybody, Matt Heath here. Today I just wanted to do an un unpacking of the Etcher Perfect Sketchbook. Um, I've been using their sketchbooks for quite a while now and I think they're really great. And just this month um, they released another, another issue of the Perfect Sketchbook, which was their top level one. So I just thought I'd um, show you what it's like when we open it up and just go through the specs and just have a quick chat about the other sketchbook that I use from Etcher. Okay, so I've thrown out all the, obviously, the um, the plastic bag and postage pack that it came in. But um, it comes in this little envelope already, which is quite nice. A little gold embossing there. Um, elastic opening seal. It's always exciting. And here's this, another envelope. Here's the Etcher sketchbook, the perfect sketchbook. So I'll read through the specs. The size is B5, so obviously smaller than A4, which a lot of people um, draw on. All my usual sketchbooks are about A4. This is smaller, but I, I chose this because um, I wanted to try this really top-end paper. So yeah, again, this B5 sketchbook. Um, the specs are written on the front here. So it's 17.5 by 25.2 centimetres, which is 6.9 by 9.9 .9 inches, just to give you a comparison compared to a pen or a pencil. Should be fairly familiar with those products, I'm guessing. Um, now it's really, really fine watercolour. There's levels to everything, but um, yeah, this one's really, really nice. So artist grade, 100% cotton watercolour paper, uh, 300 GSM. So it's quite heavy, cold press, archival grade. It's got an expandable inner pocket, which we'll have a look. PU cover and hand-torn edges for the paper and 44 pages. So 44 pages is um, double-sided. The weight is so, so that you can actually paint on both sides of the paper and it will absorb, it will absorb all that fluid. Um, they're vegan friendly, which is what that PU means for the cover. So, so it's limited edition. They do limited runs, so it's um, yeah, it's always exciting when they release them. And I've never actually um, been able to grab one before. But yeah, that paper looks fantastic. It's made by Fabriano, and I use Fabriano paper for my all my commission work. So there's hand torn edges, and you can see the. Let's pull it up to the camera here. You can see the texture in that um, in that cold press. So the difference between cold press and hot press. Hot press has a smoother finish, which is good for markers and things like that. Um, markers and shading, I should say. And it's got a pocket in the back for, for other little bits and pieces. Um, yeah, hot press is smoother, good for pencils, but cold press is great for watercolour in that it just adds that nice texture to, the, to your artworks and paintings. So I'm really looking forward to trying cold press. Um, I do do a lot of marker work, so that's why I typically use hot press. This is the A5 size hot press. Also vegan friendly uh, book. And um, you can see I've got some sketches and things in here, but it's oh, A, B, the two. So you can see the texture of the paper. The hot press is quite smooth and the cold press has that beautiful texture on it with that Fabriano watermark in it. Um, I buy big sheets of this sometimes, or the similar paper when I'm doing commission work. And it looks wonderful. I really can't wait to um, to try it out. So you go. There you go. The Etcher Perfect Sketchbook Cold Press. Thanks for watching.